game number two coming into it i still don't know like i i can't put my finger on it who's the favorite here i think money makers they're gonna play more basic dota if both teams play basic dota i'm not sure but if it's just Matreshka trying to play something weird and they're not a hundred percent in what they know that's gonna be a problem this could be one of those teams that just doesn't have a wide hero pool and that could be uh that could be problematic for them so i'm hoping that that's not the case because money makers in the previous game they did seem like they were prepared for some of the heroes that Matreshka have been playing in the past so I'm hoping now in game number two that uh, either Mertreshka have something else to give that they didn't show just yet, or that they might be allowed to play some of their heroes, maybe pick them in the first phase so that we can see them at their full potential, because they were definitely lost to the idea of how the mid-game should look in, uh, in terms of movements in the previous one. You know, it's... Maybe... Here's the thing. They might know what they need to do. But coordinating between players isn't even easy. I, I know how it is when one guy is split pushing one lane, the other one is split pushing the other. Uh, you need to connect fast and stuff like that. It's not always easy to communicate that. And Matryoshka, they've just gotten themselves to Division 2. So they probably need some more time to gel it all together. They probably played against some weaker teams uh, before, especially when it comes to competitive matches. And then... You know, once a uh, once a stronger team comes against you, then you're, you're going to be in some trouble. Money makers, they're going to be uh, picking up a timber saw. They uh, ten seconds remaining. They allowed Matreshka to have it last time, so Techy Spirit Breaker Matreshka could respond with the same remaining. thing that Money Makers did earlier. Dire team pick. Because Techies will be the case. But is it going to be a spirit? I, I would go for a void spirit. I think they have proven already they're very good on the hero. And there is no reason not to pick it up. Maybe you're like, yeah, the Timber Saw will destroy two universal heroes. But it doesn't matter. Void spirit is so freaking Ten strong. And you have proven time and time again that you know how to use it. Night in Arwell has been a uh, pretty Five good... Seconds remaining. I, I don't want to say void spirit player. A spirit player overall. Like all three of the spirit party lane he has he's done it and i think i've even seen him play some summer spirit though don't uh don't hold me to that word but i i think th so in the uh in the previous iterations of the dpc in previous teams that he played in he definitely went for it i i, I still feel this is a good void spirit pick Magnus could be an option as well, but again, it's uh, one more universal hero. Just feels bad picking it versus uh, versus the Timber. But if you can go by that, you know, the, the universal heroes are the strongest ones in Dota currently, and you're like, yeah, I don't want to pick any of them because there's a Timber song in play, well, then you're not going to have some of the strongest heroes in the game just because there's a slight counter for them in the, uh, in the game. I definitely wouldn't uh, wouldn't have that approach. Let's see, Matryoshka. What's it gonna be? Will be a seeker. Okay, that's neither a strength hero, neither a universal hero. It is a hero that has some pure damage on his side, both the blood right and the uh, and the ulti plus. The Timber Saw likes to move around a lot. You cannot do it through the rupture, and you have the shard later on, which is another remaining. instance of pure damage. Okay. Fine, not Five too bad. They did remaining. lose half of their reserve time to think about this, but I think they got themselves a really nice hero. So, Void Spirit for Money Makers. Think you can go there. They'll go, they'll go for the Underlord. They're like, yeah, we're putting this Timber in mid 100%. They will get themselves an Underlord. Just wanted to have a bit of malice, I guess? I don't know. Like, these are two heroes that are very well established in the current meta, but I wasn't expecting an Underlord to come out. It really did come in handy for them in the previous game, and the usage of the Fiend's Gate changed some engagements, because you always had that plus one pushing out Ten the waves. I don't know. Five underlord doesn't remaining. seem like a first phase pick to me any longer. That's just how it is. Oh, and... Back. 
I get it versus an illusion based hero, pick it up, but versus a seeker doesn't doesn't strike me as uh, as a great pick. Ten seconds remaining. They ban out the Wind Ranger on Matrashka. Even though I've seen Five Seekers picked remaining. into a Wind Ranger, if you mess up, let's say you start running towards her, she focuses you down. You can die. You literally can die. You need a lot of items on the Seeker to be able to go toe to toe with the Wind Ranger. Sometimes it's enough to rupture her and let her go, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes you can get caught, die super fast, and the deal with the Seeker is you don't want to die fast. You want Ten the fight to last remaining. long for you to get a couple of kills, heal back up, Radiant and that's it. Like, that's how you want it to end. Ban out the Pugna. The other side again getting rid of Muerta. I'm a trash car, not going to be getting their uh, the comfort picks. They did ban out the Undying. Understandably so. Two fat frontliners. Undying deals well with them. They both have attack speed. Like uh, an Ten old seconds, man. Maybe. Like, uh, you know, once that, that's one attack, and you need to be getting Five a ton of those to be uh, taking the tombstone down. Dire team back. The storm will get banned out. That's one of Natty Narwhal's best heroes. The Void Sprit still stays in the pool. They're not afraid of it. Having the Pit of Malice and the uh, Timber Saw might be enough to dissuade somebody from from a Void Sprit. Not uh, not too against them letting it through. Maybe they're baiting it. Maybe they know what they'll do if the Void Sprit is uh, is picked up. I still am. I'm still uncertain about this Money Maker's lineup. What if the Timber Saw has as a Bad game, you're not gonna have any damage. I would want him to get some damage on the supports, like a Skyrath Mage comes to mind as a possibility. Trashka. Ban out the Shadow Demon, pick. so Spirit Breaker. Oh, it's gonna be a Rubik. Okay. Guess the other side can pick up a Spirit Breaker now. Even though the Rubik is solid, it's stopping your charge. It's it's actually a really good hero. The the Bloodseeker doesn't really like playing versus the uh, versus the SB either. Ten seconds remaining. And stopping the charge with the lift is fine. It's a much longer cooldown Five spell than the charge remaining. itself. Let's see. Money makers, what do you do? Yeah, level 4 telekinesis is 22 seconds. Level 4 charge is like 11 seconds, right? Let's see. Yep, exactly 11. Money makers, they do see two supports that are easily bursted down. So, a, a timber saw could take advantage of that one. Though it's always dangerous versus the Rubik. Rubik steals a... Whirling Death and the Timber saw himself is in trouble. Chakram, same, same thing as well. Radiant team pick. Sky Wrath Mage. Pick up, yeah, there's the Sky Wrath Mage. There's the burst magic damage. I like it. I think it's needed, especially if your Underlord will go for Natos again, as he did in the previous game. I really like that. Are they going to pick a carry now? They don't have the last pick, but usually you don't leave your last pick for a support still. I really love the Juggernaut. The thing is, if you pick up a Juggernaut, there is going to be an offlane Spirit Breaker 100% versus you, even with the Pit of Malice. Dire team pick. Maybe they can go for the Spirit Breaker. Okay, they can go for the Spirit Breaker. Nice. So now Matryoshka, they have to ban out the TA. Last game it was played by Yegor, but it could be played by Lucas in this one with the Spirit Breaker on your Ten side, on your lane. Um, or Five you could pick up a TA remaining. yourself. Natty Narwhal, maybe you show Yegor how it's done, how you actually beat the Timber Saw in lane. Um, purge. Uh, there's nothing for Purge Enchantress, but you already picked up two of the supports. I've been dying for an OD pick and again this would be an amazing OD game I, I don't know why the hero is not coming into the meta I, I'm i gonna assume that his spells are weak but Underlord 
Timber Saw. All of these Universal Heroes are gonna suffer versus his uh, Arcane Orb. So many things Radiant to save from. What's it with? They go for the Pango. Pango untouched in this series. That, that's interesting because the hero has been popular-ish. Depending on the region, but in most regions he has been played quite a lot. In pubs he's being played uh, mid lane, off lane. Usually Ten mid lane. With the defusal you do a little Five bit too much damage. Remaining. I like it. The thing is that the Spirit Breaker is always a problem for you. I think Matreshka's lineup is a little bit out there, you know? You need longer fight with the Rolling Thunder. If you, But if you get caught, you die with one of your heroes, it's time to run. And you do have some mobility spells. But on, on the other side, Moneymakers, they have pretty decent catch. Especially with the Spirit Breaker. And they haven't still shown their carry. They ban out the Winter Wyvern. Radiant team Hero has been making uh, an appearance in pubs mostly in competitive games. At least what I have been watching, what I've been casting, it hasn't been looking too good. I have seen a couple of offlane ones and I think it's mostly a mid lane hero. Though in this game in particular, you can lane an offlane pango, but remaining. the hero is just much better on the mid lane. Five seconds remaining. Ban out the monkey. Um, this could be indicating a offlane pango. Melis is a godly pango player. I think it's his best hero. And you guys saw what he did with the axe when they were losing the game. So you can expect what he's gonna do with this one. Um, but still, I'm I'm not a fan of the offlane pango. That's just the case. The mid lane pango offers so much more, and you can be greedy. Even though now even the offlaners can be greedy, it's not the same. The levels are uh, are a huge deal for the offlaners. They're not even that tired in the support, especially because of the wisdom runes. Money makers, they ban out the Magnus. Matreshka. What's even left for Matreshka? They're, they're not gonna have the uh, the first pick in the last phase anyways. I still think Moneymakers should go for a Jug. Ten seconds remaining. It just seems so strong to me. Sven has been making Five an appearance as well, remaining. which would contribute to your ability to jump in and to destroy somebody. Uh, TA is in as well. Okay, not any longer. This gets removed. Um, th that would be a good one to, to lane with Spirit Breaker. So no Wind Ranger, no Medusa, no Muerta. What is left in terms of ranged carries? Dire team pick. Not much really. Sniper. I haven't seen a sniper for a very long time versus the Pango and the uh, Seeker. I would want to see it. Drow, same. Same is true. The Gyro, not really a, a hero currently and you don't have any buffs for him. But you have a Morphling. How could I forget about the Morphling? So the Morphling... Is the uh, Five seconds remaining. is that one because he doesn't really care if you can run at him. He buys a Lincoln's, he buys a Manta, which are both really good items in this game. To deal with the silences, to deal with the uh, um, Legion commander with the rupture. And there is gonna be an LC coming through. I really love the Morphling pick. I think that is the hero that they needed. That is gonna be the big damage later in the later portions of the game. And Matreshka, they did have trouble ending the game earlier. Um, Melis is a, is really big on the. LC, he's gonna be a nice save versus the Ancient Seal of Bignum and consequently the uh, the Solar Flare as well. So I like him in that regard. He's definitely gonna be allowing Nani Narwhal and Retsu to be playing a little bit more... Uh, a little bit less tense, let's put it that way. But I still love the last pick here from Lucas, so... I'm gonna be leaning money makers. This to me is looking like a 2-0, and you know, judging from all of the stats that we've seen in this tournament, we have seen mostly 2-0s, right? And it, it would be filling the circle. You know, Ma Matreshka, they beat Team Sexy 2-0, Team Sexy beat Money Makers 2-0, and now Money Makers beat Matreshka 2-0. It could make for a nice story later on down the line to see the uh, to see the tiebreakers between these three teams. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm thinking money makers here. Uh, looking at Matreshka's lineup, they definitely have something to play with. 
but I'm not liking that their supports are very, very squishy. With that being said, will uh, that squishiness be exploited by their enemies? We'll find out after a short message from our sponsors. Bets on esports, bets on streamers, impressive bonus system, welcome bonus up to $600, cashback, artifacts, regular promotions, daily giveaways, try yourself as a bookmaker, great lines, egb.com, more than just a bookmaker. From a short message from our sponsors over at DGB, directly into the game that has been Paused and looking at the odds, moneymakers slightly favored here. And I, I would say they are uh, slightly favored. We probably need some time. Did they say that? Electricity problems caused by weather. Tornado outside his house. Okay. Okay, I can wait. Uh, so there's a tornado. Really? Um, I want to see from where are Matryoshka. I don't have any tornadoes here, and they're in. Uh, I don't want to say they're not too far away because uh, it's it's a big ass country, Russia. A really, really big country, the biggest country in the uh, in the world in terms of uh, in terms of land. With that being said, the weather is kind of weird in Eastern Europe. I'm more central, but, you know, it's leaning east here a bit in Serbia. And with us, the weather has been like, I, I don't know. It's like somebody has a, uh, a alarm clock set every day at 2 p.m. It starts to drizzle. Then it stops. There's like sun in between a little bit. And then at 6 or 7 p.m., rain starts pouring sometimes that drizzle turns into rain pour at 2 p.m as well but and it has been so much water dropping down this year like we have floods everywhere i shall not report you hopefully matrashka are gonna be uh getting their player back in it would be a real shame if they would lose a series in uh in this unfortunate manner Because playing four versus five from from the start is not uh, not a possibility, and as far as I know, the rules state that um, you cannot find a stand-in in the middle of the series. Also, there's something you know: stand-ins have to be uh, um, announced whatever time before the series or something if something uh, unexpected happens it can change of course so i would uh so I, I would assume if if we go through those 10 minutes and money makers give them let's say five minutes of their pause six seven doesn't matter and the secret doesn't come back it's going to be a problem but i'm i'm happy that those kind of strong winds you know no tornadoes no uh no hurricanes or whatever are uh, something that my country has because that's hella scary like uh, we have strong winds I, I don't know if you can put it that way but something that we consider the strong wind and there are times when let's say a girl who is on the smaller side even smaller children but okay they're not going to be let outside by their parents but let's say uh, a girl a woman that, that is on the smaller side 45 50 kilos right that, that sh it's it's going to be a problem for her it rarely happens but we do get winds like that stronger ones sometimes imagine like a hurricane imagine a tornado like what the hell like you can have 500 kilos and you're still flying away Maybe I'm over exaggerating these guys. I don't know. Never, uh, never experienced it. Never saw a house being taken away by wind. It's something that just doesn't happen here. Uh, with that being said, he's still disconnected, and uh, hopefully that electricity will come back up. Uh, each team, just so you guys know, the rule has ten minutes of a pause. Uh, you can only use the ten minutes. After that, it comes down to the other team if they want to give their pause to you. If uh, I have to be uh, objective here, the proper way is not to ask for it, but it for it to be uh, for it to be offered to you. 
like five six minutes of our pause give, being given to you why because if uh if those minutes of pause are out nobody can pause any longer it can be an admin pause when some unforeseen circumstances but mostly that that doesn't happen admin asks for a pause maybe if uh if a studio would be down or there would be some problem with the caster things like that uh for for the players almost never like i i, I don't remember if it had happened and we have been casting now for uh three tours also have been casting some other tournaments you have similar rules in in other dpc leagues or the same ones most of the rules have been standardized, but there's there's just some little things, tweaks that the uh, the, the TOs the, the uh, decide for their, themselves. Um, looking at it here, really is um, really is going to be a tough one for Matryoshka either way. The LC last pick, it cannot threaten the Morphling in the lane. The reason he cannot threaten him is because his overwhelming odds are no longer a ranged spell. I think that kind of crippled the uh, DLC. That's my friend. Ooh, five minutes left of pause. Mistake. I'm actually having a lot of fun here. Well, let's go read the chat a little bit. I, I'm five minutes behind, guys, so I won't probably be able to uh, read any of your questions or something, but feel free to uh, to ask them. Let's see. Okay, nothing. People are just asking what is the meaning of Universal Heroes and uh, chat like always has all of the answers. It's fine. Wait, wait, let me see if I know what he, uh... Okay, so our carry is a Corrado. He doesn't have internet. Yeah, I don't understand exactly what they're saying, but I understand some of it. That's so unfortunate. Like, literally, God doesn't want you to win. Like, God, he woke up this morning and he's like... What am I, how am I going to have fun today? Okay, I know, Matreshka. You want to win? Nah. Psh, goodbye, internet. Goodbye, uh, power. Bye-bye. Hopefully everything is going to be fine, but... Uh... Ooh, I'm losing hope. I am losing hope because those things, those strong wins, they don't usually uh, stop that fast. They usually cause problems for several hours. Okay, they're already uh, talking about playing as four players. I think these guys are uh, friends. The way that they're talking to each other because it's... Uh, it's not full of respect that I uh, can see. I don't understand every word. I know some of it, you know, played a lot of Dota. Uh, lived for two months in Ukraine, but in Kyiv where everybody almost speaks Russian. Um, I, From the people I've met, I think only one of them spoke Ukrainian. And it was really funny. She, she speaks UK Ukrainian and the other ones speak Russian. That's how they communicate. Even though they're pretty different languages. Pretty, you probably wouldn't, hear it but then when they start giving me the different words and everything like every freaking word is different yeah but the way that they're talking to each other it, it seems like very friendly banter yo you there shut up shut up keep your mouth shut and wait for him to return you know you wouldn't really be uh saying anything like that to uh someone that you do not consider at least a friendly acquaintance right Oh, the uh, time is rapidly running I out for Matreshka. Before. We'll see money makers. Just how much are they themselves willing to wait? Or maybe they're going to be like, nah, we're not going to wait. Just call it a day. Call GG. We're better than you. We beat you game number one. What now? 
At least it didn't happen in game number one. At least Matryoshka lost the fair and square because it would be... It, it would leave a sour taste in everybody's mouth if they would lose with uh, with their carry disconnecting at the, at the end of the game. Yeah, so they're... Uh... Okay, one minute left. Matryoshka... What will they do? They are sad. Everybody is sad. Okay, money makers. They're asking how much uh, pause time they have. They have 10 minutes. And uh, Matryoshka will be uh, using those, it seems. They are uh, putting down some hearts. They didn't ask for it, so very nice. Because if you ask for it, you're putting somebody in an uncomfortable position. But... Uh, We already had one game. It was Rob casting it. I th think it was the... Th I don't remember which series it was, but I remember it was a pause. Uh, I think it was the three-game day, the Navi Jr. versus Sibe, that has a, had a pause. So they have 10 minutes left of the pause. Matryoshka's pause time is over. Let's unpause the game. Okay, money makers are giving five minutes. Nice. So uh, they're not on. Usually, somebody unpauses, but I think the the pause time can just switch. The other ones just depends on the admin, like what he prefers. Sometimes you see an unpause, and then somebody on the other team pauses. But I think that's like. Really unnecessary. Really, really unnecessary. Guys, look at the Moneymaker's logo. It's really cool. It's a Steeler coin. Like, what is... That could be, like, one of those Rick and Morty things. Uh, you guys remember those uh, chairs sitting on humans or pizzas eating humans? Like, so what would the coin be stealing? A man from a bank? Could be, could be. It only makes sense that in the uh, coin, gold, whatever, money world, that the currency is going to be people. Let's see if anybody else writing anything in the chat. Nope, nope. Yeah, people don't really uh, want to be watching a paused game. The players are probably enjoying this. Usually, uh, you don't get to pause the game at the start of it, let alone for uh, already 11, 12 minutes, I think, have passed already since we have been uh, sitting in this pause and waiting for the Seeker to come back. But uh, Retsu, a big storm has changed everything. Doesn't have his internet. Probably... Maybe even doesn't have uh, reception, right? Because sometimes you could uh, hotspot your phone. But if it's power, then you can't do anything. Then, would you, then you would need to have a big battery. It's actually a good one. I would like that. You called the thing that you... Uh, You put uh, gasoline in it. Yeah, so it aggregates. Is it really? No, that's what it's called. Yep, nope. It's not... Because uh, in my country, a big battery that I can, not, not really, it's not a battery really. Uh, either way, that you power by with gasoline, it's it's called a gregat, and uh, I have one of those. It's not a big one, but I guess it could power a PC, and then you hotspot your phone, and you play. Uh, of course, I am in a flat right now. It would only work if I'm in a house. Because uh, 
you know, a uh, thing that runs on gas inside of a flat wouldn't really make a lot of sense. But if you have a yard, then you can uh, then you can actually use it. But Seeker still missing. I don't know how much time is left here. Will it be played four versus five? I don't know what the rules are when it's uh, when it's minus one since the start. Oh, this is not looking good. I think they they can play though. I don't think there's anything in the rules that forbids it. Though their uh, ability to win, well, that's uh, another point entirely. Completely another point. Uh, even though we would be behind schedule, I would really want this this series to play out. Imagine this uh, being a two-one series, being super close. Everything's awesome after the the winds have stopped blowing. Would be cool. They're going to play mostly because maybe he comes back once they do start. And then I, if it's minute three, four, Seeker is not a comeback hero, but you never know. Like if there's a 1%, you should play. It's the DPC. Every single series matters because one guy will be eliminated for sure. Sibe, I don't see them doing much. And yeah, Perfect. we are seeing it on pause. And then there's going to be another one. So every if you win this one as Matreshka, you're fine. Oh. Did they call GG? Or was it just like... Uh, like GG. Oh. Like, thank you for waiting. Yeah. Let's wait, creeps, money makers. Okay, they want to fight. Yeah, okay, they're gonna have some fun. Go one versus one in the river. If you guys have played uh, Dota 1 on Garena, then you definitely... Shutka. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have uh, ever been on a, uh, let's say, uh, metal concert or something, and then everybody starts uh, pushing each other, right? And all the mass of people starts moving left and right because everybody's pushing, falling down and stuff like that. That's Shutka. I don't know... Uh, what would be the uh, the appropriate translation for it? Something uh, literal would be like uh, a kicker or whatever. But yeah, it definitely doesn't doesn't translate so well. Let's go fight, fight to the death. Slayer dropping low. He wants some bashes. He's really unlucky. Like what the hell, Slayer? He doesn't know how to bash. Just don't play this hero ever in your life. One. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's so sad about that. I'd be sad as well. Ah, they call GG. Ah, this is this sucks so much. Oh, they're not calling GG. What's happening? Admins aren't really giving us much info. They can play, right? They're gonna play. They're gonna have fun, whatever. So let's have fun with it. So we're gonna cast this like it's the TI finals. Just to make it a little bit interesting here for the viewers and myself, of course. There's gonna be some high fives as Yegor denies a creep. And he's going for another one. The deny will come through once again. 